So now that we have Honey, which is really not that great by itself, it restores 10 health, and with combined beans, we can make what looks to be the best freaking food in the game. So beans by themselves were the best food at restoring 60 health. With combined Honey, it now restores 90, beating out everything else. So high quality food is actually really good. It's like a one and done type of thing. You could be almost completely depleted and it will restore everything. Awesome. Now we haven't quite unlocked the silk worm, uh, the thing to make fabric with silk orbs yet. So our, our bugs are doing their thing. While that is increasing, Let's take a look at our fish and see where we're at. We're at 52 on fish now. Cool. We also want to take a look at our map because there is a new area. Uh, let's zoom all the way out. Uh, it's a waterfall. Now this isn't helping me too terribly much. I'm not seeing... This is the crater down here by my brain. This is the... Kind of what I referred to previously as the ship graveyard. That's the the ring, the St. Louis Arches is what I called it. It's got to be over here, right? So why don't we go and explore that and let our insects index increase and look for more uncommon and rare larva. Uh, I might get to the point where I'm like storing some of the larva. I've been honestly running around with a bunch of bugs in my pocket. And that just seems weird, right? Let's stop doing that. But commons, I'm kind of, I'm kind of over. We need rare and we need uncommon. We need uncommon for the silkworm and bees, and we need rare for the big butterflies. Well then. Uh, so my initial instinct was very, very wrong. But I noticed a slight discoloration on this area of the map. And if you'll come over here, remember, like, this is the, the dead area. I refer to it as, like, the ship graveyard. There was the bunker that was over here in this area. Well, on the right-hand side of it is a lot of new. Like, a lot of new. And I haven't ventured into it at all yet, as you can see, and I'm seeing purple on the ground. If I could just walk up and grab Pulsar Quartz, that's going to be wild. Uh, well. Okay. <laughs> I'm not grabbing the Osmium. I, I don't I don't need it. We're farming that automatically, but there's Pulsar Quartz in Where was this place like a month ago when I needed Pulsar Quartz so bad? This is awesome! I mean I really I don't need it. I truly don't need it. Uh I am curious to see if I would be able to farm this. From the ground. Uh, let's get... So let's see, uh, all right. If we can find two ir iridium rods here, I don't need to go... Ooh, a seed lerma, actually. Rocket. Uh, I don't need to go back. I want to see if I can farm anything from the ground here. It's, there's zeolite. There's just a bunch of stuff here. A bunch of stuff. Uh, I gotta look at boxes. I had to double check that one to make sure. There, I think there was Osmium on the ground there. There's just Giga Treasure here. And we haven't even scratched the surface. But if I can auto mine Pulsar Quartz from this area, I'm going to make another teleporter. It's just that simple. We'll come over to this area and uh, farm whatever resources are available to us that can be mined out of the ground. Now, I don't know if that's going to be the case. God, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. This is really, really cool. I don't know if that's actually going to be the case. So I'm not going to head all the way back to base and grab two, two rods just to come all the way back out here and potentially be disappointed. I'm going to suffocate uh, and go back to base really, really fast because I just noticed that I am going, that I have no oxygen vial. Re. Uh, there is no way I can react in time. So, uh, I'm going to go back to base, and I'm going to collect two Iridium Rods. And we're going to come out here and see if we can mine what's in the... 
Time to sleep. Mind what's on the ground. Hey, base. Where have you been? That's uranium. Where's my rids? It's on this side. Two iridium rods. So, how I got there, and I'll show you why I got there and how I got there. So I was like, okay, do 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 do. We've been over here before, bunker, blah blah blah. I was like, why is this like discolored? And what are these things? So I'm like, okay, it wasn't over here. I figured there'd be a waterfall over here. No, I came over to here just because I was like, let me go see what that is. And there you have it. That's how I got from A to B. Now let us see if we can't get some stuff. I, mean, I have a. I'm gonna drop box this. Not the stuff for. I need that. Not the stuff for the the mining unit, but the other stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Boomity, boomity. I don't need silkworm, tree bark, any of this stuff. Now I actually have a little bit of wiggle room. I do need this stuff, so let's go ahead and grab that back. If you're like, no, no, Dick, not the Osmio, no, you need that, you, you need that for the thing. I heard you. I heard you. Let's get some water, oxygen vials, so what just happened doesn't happen again. And let's set out. Now, since this is the, uh, clearly the very first time we've been here to this night sky -y, crazy, cool-looking place, and we've never been here before, uh, we're gonna put down this super duper miner. Iron! Okay, I kind of half, half expected it to just be iron. It would be way too easy if it was pulsar quartz, right? Just insanely way too easy. But, maybe, maybe there will be something else. And perhaps this is like the way, since this is new, this is the way to the waterfall. He said optimistically, uh, as we kind of like traverse this new area, ah, maybe maybe back through here. Aha! It is. It is. Okay. It doesn't take a, a genius to figure that out. I mean, like, hey, look, new area. Maybe there's the new thing over here by the new area. And we found it. We found the waterfall. And we found a box. I don't want to deconstruct it. I want to open it. Uh, we'll take the bloop module. We'll take the rocket engines just because they're you know, here and free. Uh, I don't, really don't need zeolite, but I just take things. And my oxygen is low. We learned our lesson. We came prepared. Was that a larve? An, oh, uncommon larve. Boink. It's hard to see at night. Rare larve? No, it's common. There's a lot of larves over here. It's just easy to see because there's not a lot of grass, too. That's actually pretty nice. That's a rock, not a larve. And this place is freaking cool. This place is really freaking cool. I have to get a little screeny of that. I like I like it. I also kind of I don't know the benefit of it right now, but I also would like to build a base out here just because it's really nice and ooh, an uncommon. And, uh, maybe honestly just because of the larvas. They seem to be very plentiful out here. Let's explore the water. Oh, it's shallow. Yeah, there's not much really going on. Uh, the water's difficult to navigate. Let's get out of here. Meteors are blasting down. The sky is red. Let's put down this thing. Iron. I'm, I'm certain. Iron. Yep, we're good. Nothing fancy, but I'm glad we have it. Can we check you already, Larve? Common, common. It's so... It's so red. Very neat. Now, as is tradition with TPC, that's the Planet Crafter shortened, there are always some treasures about. I'm going to try to hunt around here to see if I can find any of them treasures. Uh, look, speak, of the, speak of the box, devil. More blueprint modules, furdies. This furdy's cheap, I'll take it. Rods, we'll take the rods, blueprint mods. I'm looking for a reason. To build a base. 
uh, at a tele a small base at a teleporter out here. Outside of seeing some decent larvae on the beach there, none of them were rare. I can't really find a overwhelming reason to do so. At least not yet. Oh, what's this? Oh, what is this? Creepy mushrooms? Creepy underground mushroom biome? Okay, maybe there's a reason to build a base out here. Oh, I got an achievement! Mushroom River! Well then. Well then. Alright, this place is um, purple. As is tradition. Iron. Check the water and stuff. This place is really cool. I bet there's... I bet there's going to be something to this in the future. There's nothing that I can immediately harvest that I'm seeing. It's like new, it's just weird mushroomy trees. But maybe there's treasures. Is there a golden box around these parts? For sure, there's going to be something to this in... Ooh, a larva. There's going to be something to this in an, in an upcoming update. 100%. There's, like, purple smoke here. Uh, maybe we'll be able to put down, like, a gas extractor and get a different type of gas. Uh, or we'll farm something with an ore extractor, similar to how we do sulfur in the yellow cloud area. But I'm not seeing a lot. I also try to keep eyes peeled for larves. This place is cool. This place is very cool. I'm looking to see if there's anything up at the top. That'd be a, like a fun place to have a little oxygen boxygen up there at the top. There's, there's more to come. There's more to come with this mushroom forest. For sure. What is this, though? This underground cave is a blessing for us. The Wardens. There is a lot of resources in it. Oh, there's a lot of resources, and it is underground, allowing us to stay hidden from outer space. This planet has been chosen really carefully, and now I understand why. I can't wait to start the building of our settlement and fulfill our destiny. A warden. Year question marks. And it looks like this is written on a stone tablet. And, oh, a butterfly fu- A butterfly futura? Oh! There was big treasure here. A special butterfly larva. 800 percentos. Humongles. Humongles. Thank you, the wardens. Thank you very much. Wow, I was about ready to, like, dismiss this place as not having anything. They say there's a lot of resources down here. <gasps> Golden box. Golden effigy of a jetpack. I'll take that mutagen. We'll eat some beans. We'll drink some water. And I am close to dying, so we will grab this and head I think this was the glorious treasure of the area. So freaking cool. Let me see if I can uh, power through here. <gasps> Another butterfly Futura. 
Okay, I am gonna have so much insects, so much room for insect activities, but I gotta go. I gotta do I have any, do I have, I don't have any more oxygen vials. I gotta go. I got a mosey. Two futuras. I'll put those in my uh, in my butterfly dome and see if it makes things go crazy. Just random stuff that's easy to make. Ooh, I'm not gonna make it. Note to self. Start carrying at least six oxygen vials with you, because you forget far too much. I know there's a place that I had built over here, like a small little shelter shack. I'm not going to make it. There's no way. There's no way. So the wardens are secretly sand people. And they're the ones that keep carrying me back to my base, but they're a, they're a hidden breed. A hidden breed. I just uh, decided to fast travel. I'm getting really bad about forgetting my boxes, uh, my oxygens. Okay, uh, we need to depot some stuff because I have a full inventory. Forgot about that. Let's go to our crystals. I have got quartz, right? Nope. Uh, let's go to our bedroom and what can I do with the jetpack effigy? I guess put it down somewhere. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're going to find a special place for it. And we're going to depot... <laughs> I am just all over the place. We're going to depot... Stiff. With the Iridium. Nothing fancy with our extractor. Whoops, didn't mean to drop you. Come here, Rod. Cool. Now let's put future butterflies in the, uh, in the dome. And see what happens. Okay, out of there, blue ones, 800. Uh, let's see, the, the blue ones are like 40-something, right? 48. Plus 320. And they're glowing. So nice. So nice. And I can use the other butterfly farms externally around the flower beds. Because they generate a lot of butterflies. Uh, put my bees here. I did put some butterfly... The butterflies next to the stairs that I had, I did put them here. And we'll get some places for the uh, Azura. The Futuras might have more overall value here in the farms. Like, I think it might generate a larger increase. I just kind of like them in my dome. We've been sequencing and sequencing a lot of larva, and my new goal has been to build some of the things that we've unlocked in our doing so, and the time that it's taken to get to where we're at. The outdoor farm, in which we could grow a bunch of veggies, that sounds interesting. And I've already made one of these, but I want to make another silk generator. Literally, it's just right there. Uh, so I've been going around collecting all uncommon and rare larvas that I could find. I've just kind of like stopped collecting the common ones. We've got three rare just sitting here, but I've been working on trying to get uh, the bee larvas, which we have just sequenced two more. Yes. And the silkworms. So I've been more lucky with silkworms than I have been the bee larvas. Uh, however, in the beginning, I was relatively lucky with bee larvas that ended up getting enough for five total honeymaker things, which might be slightly overkill, but as you may remember, there's no such thing as overkill in the Nerd Parade vocabulary. So I want to make two of these. Uh, so we need some T2 fertilizer and alloy. Let's go down. Uh, T2 fertilizer and some alloy. That's not the right way. This is... Uh, so with two silk generators, there is like no possible way that I'm probably going to need more than that. I feel like I could probably stop collecting the uncommon larvas now uh wandering around here i did find a decent amount i ended up going over here where i have my tree things planted and there was a lot of uncommon over there so i'd like kind of wander all the way through here and i noticed that walking is way better uh just like slowly slowly walking jetpacking i was missing a lot like i was missing a lot a lot ah you see he just popped in like, I feel like, I don't know, walking, like, produces them. 
just gonna run around and stir stir up the ground and they're gonna spawn in front of me it's it's wild there's been a, a ton of commons over here i don't even bother to pick those up anymore but rares now that's a common uh, i can tell by the pattern at this point common uh Let's see if I can find an uncommon or another rare. Rares are, are a little difficult, as is their name implies. They are rare. They are not everywhere. Check behind me, because I'm going too fast. Now I've more or less, I guess, cleared the area out. and They, they need to respawn. Or, you know, do their bug thing. Yeah. Way to make me look bad, bugs. That's not uncommon. You can tell by the pattern. See, it's like, uh, it's got the little tip. And it's not got the, like, almost leopard-like checkered pattern as, as the common one. So we'll go ahead and grab that. There's another uncommon. You can see that you're, notice the pattern. That is a common. We'll go ahead and just go ahead and take it. In case I need more bees or silkworms. That is a common. Popped in right four. Common. Let's see if I can get a rare. It's a common. Rares look like the uncommons, but have a, a reddish tint to them. That's common. It's a common. If we happen to see one when we're like out and about, I'll be like, oh yeah, remember when I was talking about this like a hundred years ago? This is what a rare looks like. I don't think there's a pattern to where that they kind of like spawn or anything like oh there's a specific rare one like i found a rare one over here for example like i don't think it's like oh you'll everyone will always find a rare one over here i really don't think it's going to be that way but i don't know let me know in the comments if you happen to find a rare one like over in this area too another uncommon i'm not going to take him common then maybe that's uh maybe i was wrong but i don't i don't think so but there were, have been a ton, like, over here in this area. And walking around slowly, not jetpacking as I was. We were, uh, discovering. That's another common. Well, rare. You're gonna make me look bad. Let's head back. Let's head back. We got the butterfly case. Unless this is one? Yes, this is one! Oh, we got one! We got a rare! See, it looks just like the uncommon, only it's reddish tint. It's actually pretty, uh, pretty cool. So... If you see the ones with the patterns at a glance, just ignore them. If you see the ones with the black tips, like those are uncommon and, and rare, you want those. We finally got a rare. I'm really happy about that. I was kind of sad that one wasn't uh, popping up. But now, now we get to do the other cool build stuff. So I think this is just cosmetic. Place a butterfly larva inside to see the butterfly. Like, an entomologist or whatever, you would, like, put a pin in it or something. I don't think it does anything. But if we can make one, and let's say put it on our wall or something like that, I'll make one. We'll make one. We'll, we'll, we'll play with it. But first, outdoor... Oh, this is larger than I expected. Outdoor farm. How many seeds can you hold, outdoor farm? Oh, can I, can I put it on this? Oh, yes, I can! Oh, happy, happy Nick is happy. I need iron. I need iron. It was going to bother me that it wasn't, like, OCD friendly. Okay, Snapperino. Snapperino. And let's do Lay Farm. I'm going to get rid of my light. Uh, and we'll move it closer to the east. You know what? I have the light shining down on it. I put this, like, directly in the center. Oh, you're gonna keep snapping back because you're a, a third light. There we go. Uh, I don't need to move the light, really. It's fine. Farming on Mars! I got a Chivo! We're farming on Mars. Uh, I am gonna rotate this light, though. We're gonna fix... We're going to have it face right at our farm and on Mars. That's in the center, right? Good enough. We're going to place another one down right here. 
this is what I want to make too. You know me. I'm I'm a fan of OCDness. I'm a fan of symmetry symmetry. If you've watched any Nerd Prey videos at all that have anything to do with building or building survival games or anything like that, you know. You know how I am, you know how I operate. Love it or hate it, you know how I am. What am I missing? Uh Waddle Bonner. Let's get one. We can get that real quick. We're right here. We'll take a sippy. I could trigger everybody by eating some honey and just waste it. Oh, I put it back. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to trigger so many people right now by just eating the honey instead of turning it into superfood. Mmm. Honey. That's right, get triggered. Okay, now, here's the thing. I tried to rotate this before and it kept snapping back. Oh, it's not going to do it this time. Perfect. Yes! A farming on Mars. How many can we plant? What? Get out of here, beezies. One. It's one seed that produces many, I think. Uh, so we all we all know what's gotta go in there. It's gotta be beans. Beans. Let's go, let's get a bean thing. I'm gonna put my larvas up too while we're here. Uh, let's depot in the larva depot thing. We'll put the bee away. It's fine. Sort. And we'll turn some of those rares into whatever. And then we'll uh, put it on our wall. Okay, we got to interact with a little bubble. If I grab two bean seeds, I am pissed. This actually increases insects, too. The, so, ooh. Ooh. This actually has value. I'm not going to get rid of the other plant growers that I have. I think that would kind of be like a, a dumb play. But it actually adds value, whereas the plant growers I don't think really add any other value to the to the environment. The terraformation index or anything like that. Terraform in, terraformation index greater, which includes insects and soon to be animals. Uh, there was a screen that I a new screen that I did not make until recently. Uh, I didn't realize that it was a thing, so I just moved this one over. I was looking at this earlier, like way, way earlier, and you might remember from the previous video, uh, that I was like, oh, let me try to see if anything, like click the arrow, no, no, no. We have it here, insects, soon to be plants, and, and I mean, not soon to be plants, soon to be animals, but, and plants. It's time to DNA engineer one of our rares, though. Uh, I need to get more fertilizer. I could probably do the rest of, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. We'll get more fertilizer. Let's start this research. Boop, we'll sequence that rare. I'm gonna make all the rares and see what we come up with. Ooh, I need more furts. We only got two left. I need to mass make. Let me make some more now. I'd rather have it in the, I'd rather have it in the pipeline than not have it at all. Let's get some selfies. While we're there, so we can just blast past it. Let's get some alge. I need to go to the sulfur mines and refill my sulfur chest if I keep this up. Just part of the process. Collecting our ingredients. How am I doing on inventory space? We're okay. We'll get two more. By two more, I meant I'm just gonna click until I end up making it back to base and get the eggplants. No such thing as overkill. And we will store a couple of these for future use and grab our eggplants. Dump, 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 dump. How are we on eggplants here? Let's grab them out of the, uh, the growers. Eggplant one, two, eggplant three, eggplant four. Now let's cook up some fur. Okay, let's get some eggplants out of here, just cause. Cool. Now, let's see where we're at here. What did we get? We got a, oh, I got the best one! Lou! Except for the future one. The future one's like the best, best one, but 
We got a really powerful one. I need to make some more mutagen. I need to have two. Okay, I need to make two more mutagens. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, I didn't do anything over here. Mutals. Uh, we need sulfur. We need methane. I'm, I'm going to go to the sulfur mines. I'm depleting the sulfur quite frequently here. So let's replenish our stock. We're doing it live. Replenishing our stock live. Get back to base. Let's depot what we got. And we'll empty out our methanes and make some more mutagen. With that, how fast are these growing? How many beans we got? One, two, wow, a lot. One seed turns into two, five? Am I counting that right? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that is impressive. That is really impressive. Hey, there's a, there's a larva in my base. My inventory is full, I can't pick them up. There's two, they're taking over. They're completely taking over. I'm being in invaded. And there's a rare one here too, cool. Didn't mean to do anything. The rare one came to me. We were hunting for a rare one and the rare one just had to come to me. Uh, what was I making? Mutagen. Uh, I forgot bacteria, oops. I'll make the bacteria. I have didn't have the water. We'll make the bacteria at the bacteria farm. Not necessarily here, the bacteria farm is the one close to the water. Muties. 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 Stick a rare in there. Sequence. Let's see if we can get another loot. Oh, is it another loot? An L. Okay. Let's go collect the rare. And the other guys who are just decorating my floor. The fact that they're decorating my floor, I don't really like. God, they're just everywhere. You can be outside bugs, but not inside. We have an airtight situation going on in here. Gotta store you. Your larva. Put you, put you, put you. Keep you. Research you. Boom, boom. Start the sequence. Do we have anything over here? We are 71%. Let's go depot a little bit while that's cooking. Put our excess methane away. Put our excess one fertilizer away. Because we have rare. Cool. Put our algaes away. And also our selfies away. We're cleaning up house a little bit. Selfie. Selfie. Awesome. I'll take some of the silk out of the... The generator, they're probably full by now. Yeah, that one's definitely full. This one is also full. That seems to generate pretty rapidly. I'll leave that in there. What do we get? Another, yes! Oh, this is the really good one. Okay. So, according to this, the lieu is the best. Amel is the second best. If I could get a green one, Chevron, I would want, because green's my favorite color, I would 100% make that one the... Oh, it, it's a penga. I would 100% make that one the one that we put display in our in our room. However, if you remember the pi the penga slash penga joke, I think that's a good displayer. That is definitely a good displayer. So we got the silk. Let's go make some fab. One, two, three, and we'll put it like right above our bed. Why not? Uh, so how can I not accident? By storing, I would assume. There are crystals. Put that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. So I would assume by using this larva and this fabric, I won't accidentally make the others into something that I don't want. Oh no, wait, I'm dumb. I thought I'd consume the larva to make the thing. No, no. No, no, that's not how it works. Okay, we make the box and then put the larva in. Of course, why wouldn't you? That's how everything else has been in the game. 
Butterfly box. It can go on the wall. That's really cool. Uh, oh, I had it in my. I had the pink in my inventory. I, it's neat. It's neat. It's it's something like as you're collecting, it's it's art, it's it's decoration, it's something that can like continue to be here, in your uh, in your base where you set up. I like it. I would rather have, however, slurp, the numbers going up. So I'm gonna take those Liu's, and I'm gonna stick them in the butterfly thingy things that I've got out here. I realized that I forgot to pick them back up and I need to store them. Why? Oh, three point double O T T I already. He says already, but. And then I can craft my other, this guy, my other, this guy have never in all of the rares gotten the green one. Chevron, I've not gotten it. So we want to try, try to go for, well, if we can get four of the perps, that'd be awesome. But Amel is a good second. Azure is kind of like, whatever. So let's go out here as it's dark and we do like all of our things in the game at nighttime as it's tradition. Turn our flashlight. So we're going to replace this Azure with the 500%. So that jumps to 375. Huge. And this one was 172 with the Pinga. Put an ammo in there. 225. Yeah, that's really big. That's really big. We'll go over here to this one. What do I have? A 90. That's the blue one. Put in the Liu. And then we got a Fin C. And the Pinga is better. All right. It's just a little bit of min-maxing. I honestly could just make more of the butterfly bats and put these guys in. It's cheap. It's, you know, it's, it's not an expensive thing to do. Uh, but I guess I'm just feeling a little bit lazy and I'm going to hang on to some of the larvas now. Eventually... If we could discover another one of the Futuras or whatever, that would be super cool. They're the best for percent get or for for growth. That's three twenty in the in the dome here. But for my bedroom, I now kind of want to have like a display wall with all the buddies. Hmm. Now resist the urge. Be more efficient. We're not, uh, we're not trying to decorate the planet. We're trying to terraform the planet. So, one's enough. One's enough. We'll store these excess larvae, since they're on the lower end of the spectrum. Uh, crap. <laughs> no, not the spectrum of crap. They're on the lower end of the spectrum of, uh, insect growth numberage. Put this silk away. I'll go ahead and store the fabric in the silk chest, just because I think I have another separate fabric chest floating around here somewhere. This generates relatively quickly and two of them I don't think I'm going to want for anything let's go back down actually we needed to be back up we needed to go to our office which is all the way across here jump through the butterflies and interact with this panel we want the the this thing for the buggies and that's it we've completed the bug slash insect stage the display case was the last thing to unlock we are generating now. We can do the gamer thing where I have admittedly done in the past with Planet Crafter is AFK. But there's no reason to. Because fish is not in the game yet. And when they did implement insects, they adjusted the numberage so that it wasn't like extremely far away. So I feel like fish might be adjusted as well. And we are already 60% into fish. So if they adjust the numbers accordingly in the same fashion that they did with insects, I would be advancing like way far ahead and I don't necessarily need to. But once again, bittersweet, we have reached a point in the Planet Crafter 
where we are waiting for new updates because we've done and crafted all the cool stuff. I might anecdotally go back into the mushroom forest and explore it a little bit more. There may be another larva of the, the Futura butterfly, the cool purple one. And I'll probably put down a teleporter there for future reasons, because I think, I think more is going to take place in that area. And I would rather be prepared than unprepared going into some of the new updates. I love the Planet Crafter. I've had so, so much fun with this. I've said this before. Uh, it's very Subnautica-like, but I enjoy this game more than Subnautica. I know, I said it again. I love Subnautica. I do. I truly, truly do. But terraforming my planet is so much more satisfying than some of the things that I was able to do in Subnautica. And this is where I'm going to leave you. Thank you guys again so much for coming to hang with me in this update of the Planet Crafter. Look at this little guy. We're making friends with the bugs. And soon, maybe, according to our panel here, we'll be making friends with animals. But until then, and until the fishies, take care of yourselves, stay awesome, and come and hang with me again very, very soon.